In this video, I'm going to show you what to do when you are working with estimates, but you need to make some changes between it being an estimate and when it turns into an invoice. Okay, so let's start off by looking at when you create a new estimate. So we're gonna go in the top left corner and click the plus new button and then the first column estimate. So this is where you would go in your normal process of just creating a new estimate. And then and I did do another video on working with estimates and making a new estimate. So I do have more information in the other one, but a quick version here, you just pick your customer, the estimate date, um, that, that would be the absolute basic information, the customer, the date, and the product or service that um, the things that you want listed in the estimate. And then you could do it with a quantity rate, or you can just do a flat amount like that. And you could check this off if it has the old tax or not. Okay, so we're going to come over here to our estimates page. If you don't know how I got there, then I got here by the left menu. It says sales, or for you, it might say invoicing. So sales or invoicing, and then there is a dedicated page just for estimates. You can see estimates in all sales or in estimates. So up here in all sales, if you just wanna see them by themselves here in the estimates tab. Okay, so here, we have a few estimates we're gonna work with to cover a couple different examples. Our first example is our an estimate for $800. We're gonna open that up with the pencil icon. And let's say that maybe it's a week later and you are ready to send an invoice to this customer for $800. So let's say nothing changed. It was $800 at the estimate, nothing changed. It's time for the invoice and you're still gonna invoice for $800 and you want the invoice to basically look the same as the estimate. In that case, this will save you a lot of time because if you come up here to the top right corner for create invoice, if we click this, create invoice, it will create an invoice based off of the estimate and it will be linked to the estimate. What just popped up here on the right, that's for a different example, a different video. So um, um, another video for another day. So we will ignore that part. But if you look at the top left, you will see we're in the invoice screen, but it looks like it barely changed. And that's because it, did, it didn't really change. We have the invoice, but how we know is it says it plus in just underneath, it's very small, but it does say one linked estimate. So we know this invoice is linked. If we click on it, it's linked to this estimate. And if we wanna to get to the estimate, we could go back to where we were on that estimates page, or we can just click right here. We can click the estimate link and it will take us to the estimate that's linked to the invoice. Okay, so that's where we are right now. And notice in the first line item, $800 for design, and it's got this link symbol to show that this is linked to the estimate. So if we were to make any changes here, if for some reason we changed the 800, that's something where I'm going to show you in the next example what to do because we don't really want to mess with this because it is linked to the estimate. So we're going to just leave this as it is. And in this case, that's what we want. It's $800 still for the invoice. So we are happy with that. It is all linked. And we didn't have to fill all this out from the invoice because it just pulled it from the estimate. So that does save time. So we'll go ahead and save and close. Um, notice in the bottom corner, it says save and send. We don't want to do that. We don't want to email this. So we're going to click the arrow next to it and say save and close. All right, so now we have done that one. Let's look at our next example. So let's open up a new uh, our, our next estimate with the pencil icon again. But let's look at an example if you are ready to create your invoice, you're ready to invoice your customer, but there have been changes along the way. And by the time you get to the invoice, you need to show the new total. Um, maybe a week later, you're ready to invoice and you actually need to invoice her not for 800, but you wanna invoice her for um, $1,000. Well, there's a couple different cases of what will apply to you. And I'm gonna show you, um, a, I'm gonna show you a third example after this. So just hang on, if this example doesn't apply to you, the next one might. So in this example, 
maybe you want to keep this estimate untouched. You want to keep a record of what this estimate looked like originally before you did the work, before, um, before it was approved, and what you sent to the customer. So you don't want to touch this. Maybe changes happen by the time you're ready to invoice, but you want to keep the estimate looking exactly like it did when you sent it to the customer. In that case, we're not going to touch it. We're just going to keep this estimate as is, but we're going to go ahead and create the invoice. So we're going to come up to the top right, create invoice. So we're not going to do anything with the estimate. We don't need that. All right. So here we're in the invoice and notice very small, but it is linked to the estimate. Okay. So here we are in the invoice and the first line item has that link. So we know this line was pulled directly from the estimate, but we don't want to invoice them for $800. Maybe there were some changes and you're actually gonna invoice them for $1,000 and that's already been agreed um, and they already know about it. So if you need to show that on the estimate, that'll be the next example. But if in your case, you want to leave the estimate how it looked originally, then in the invoice, just update that information here. So we're in the invoice and let's say, so basically you'll be splitting it up. You'll keep that first row, you'll keep the, the linked rows that came from your estimate, but any further changes, you'll just add them as, um, as more line items, add, add them to your, in, add them to your invoice, tongue tied there. You'll add them to your invoice. So notice it does not have a link first one does, second one does not. So here you could make a note in the description if you like, or in the memo at the bottom, bottom corner, you could say um, custom design, um, additional B or extra meetings. So maybe, maybe that's the reason. Whatever the reason is, you could put the description there and fill that information out. So now notice the total, it is $1,000, perfect. So that's what we want in this example. We want to keep the estimate looking exactly the same, but we wanna invoice them for a thousand. So that's how we can do that. So we have an invoice for a thousand, but notice, and if we click the link in the top right, top left, and we click the estimate, so now we came back to that original estimate and look, it's all, it's all the same as it was, but the invoice is for a thousand. Okay, so now let's look at our final example. And we're gonna open up our last estimate with our pencil icon. Okay, so here we have our last example of what happens if you need to show the estimates and the invoice, you want them to look the same. There were changes that happened by the time you're ready to invoice, but you want to be able to see it on the estimate as well. Okay, so if I were to just create invoice and then change the row from 800 to 1000, then I won't see it change here. Even though it says link, um, how we saw that link symbol, just because you change something, it will not um, update back here as of now. Um, it might be later on, there'll be updates and maybe that'll happen in the future with QuickBooks. But as of now, that link symbol is just showing it came, it was pulled from the estimate. But if you were to change something in the invoice on that row, it's not gonna show back on the estimate. So in this final example, that's a problem. We want the estimate and the invoice to show these changes. So we're ready to invoice our customer but we want the estimate to show it, it's not 800 anymore, it's a thousand. So you could do a second row um, on the estimate to show it initially was 800. And then there were changes during the project. So now it's a thousand. So we're still in the estimate. So you could do it that way. So you can still keep, you can still show it initially was 800 and then along the way you can make those changes and if you do progress billing or progress invoicing this is how you would do it so if you are if you know you need progress invoicing 
then the, you would have to make any changes. They would have to be updated in the estimate first um, in order to track the total project and the total balance and remaining balance. So you'd have to keep the estimate updated. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. All right, so we save the estimate. We create invoice in the top right. And notice now those two rows are linked to the estimate. They were pulled in from the estimate. So that's where we did need to make a change by the time we were ready to invoice. We just made that update on the estimate. And that way the estimate and invoice match. They look the same. The rows are the same. So that is what you can do in that case. So again, in the previous example, you had a change, but you wanted to keep the estimate looking the same, then you can just come to your invoice, have your estimate linked rows, but then on the invoice, make additional updates, additional rows on the invoice. Those additional rows just won't be on the estimate um, and they won't have a link symbol. But in this case, we want the estimate invoice to look the same, especially important for progress invoicing. So in this case, we made those updates in estimate and then they pulled over or they linked into the invoice. Okay, so that is different scenarios, different common situations when you are working with estimates and invoices. So if you have any questions, let me know. And I do have another video on progress invoicing. So if you need more information on that, I do go into more detail on that topic. All right, so I will see you in the next video. Bye.